had our first little kerfluffle, and that was when we started this Facebook Live post. We did it on my personal page. So, sorry we're late, guys, but we're here, and you are here to... We do exist. We do exist, <laughs> and we've been here talking, but on a whole different page. So, uh, I wanted to welcome you all. Anyone who is signing on now, thank you for coming. I'm here with my really dear friend, Jenna Bailey Burke. Hello. And if you guys don't follow her on Facebook, do. She's an amazing author. She writes really wonderful contemporary romance with some humor, which I love to laugh when I'm reading a book. So there you go. We're talking about our planner obsessions. Yeah. And oh my gosh, this feels so weird because we're saying all of this over again. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> we, we love our stuff. So first of all, starting with, if you comment today on one of these, uh, I mean, on the video, you are eligible to win one of five books. So we have two copies of this book, The Latin Love, Her Latin Lover, which has a copy of um, The Greek Tycoon's Inherited Bride in okay. it. I was wondering, I'm like, I don't have that one. And then, okay, right, gotcha. right. It's just a reissue. And yeah. then this is uh, Sheik's Captured Brides. And this has a copy of, um, what does it have a copy of? I can't, it's not saying on the back. Wait. Um, Hi, Carol. Thank you for coming. Really good to see you. Carol's another wonderful author, guys. So, oh, Carol Opalinski. And, yeah. Do you plan um, her, too? That would be. Right? I think a lot. <laughs> we can share. <laughs> right? Um. Anyway. Oh, The Sheik's Barter Bride is in this book. Okay. So, there's two copies of each of those. And then Jenna's fantastic book, Just Married. She brought that one to give. And anyone who is here can get copies of my stickers my um, nutcracker stickers. Because so, you're obsessed with nutcrackers. Yes, ma'am. I have mm. a lot of obsessions, I think. Well, as long as they're good. And um, I made these. They're about with my book and events, um, event stickers that are related to the book cover. And so if you email me off of my website, lucymonroe.com on the contact form and just send me your mailing address, I'll send you stickers as long as you were here at the event. Okay? And okay. Jenna... Oh, Carrie Nichols. Oh, sorry, See? Carol. Okay, Carrie Nichols. It's Carrie Nichols. I'm so sorry, Carol. That's the hard thing with pen names. Right? Yeah. Right, because that's how like, I ended up signed up on the wrong Facebook right. page because <laughs> yeah. we just did. Anyway, Carrie Nichols is a fantastic author, and please check out her Facebook page. There you go, because yeah. now, yeah. So <laughs> I also do the planner stickers. I say I in like the general sense because I have my son do them. Um, he is into graphic arts and stuff, so he, he's great at it. So every quarter I, in my newsletter, I have a link to sign up to get a quarter sheet that has um, my book covers and then if I'm doing any events and usually some funny phrases that I happen to be. I'm sort of jelly about like, that. Yeah, like hashtag adulting, that kind of thing. Uh, it's nice. I, think I that's know super he can cool. give you the hookup. Maybe I'm thinking maybe I need to hire this kid. Yeah, I yeah. Know. You know, he he's, can make some he's pretty good. Money. Yeah. Um he started with vinyl, you know, yeah. like vinyl stickers, and then I'm like, oh, you should do this. And now he's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But it's nice because I use them for myself. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I put a book cover on the day that a book could right. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And so you're going to give book covers to your to readers um it's in what your newsletter newsletter yeah it's yeah. in my newsletter on my website jennabaileyburke.com you can sign up for my newsletter and then it'll, the link to to put, give your address to get those is on there so cool once a quarter once a quarter you get them once a quarter i'm only offering these one time so maybe i'll get nicer and offer them later and offer maybe, more maybe bailey will yeah you maybe up. bailey will hook <laughs> me up and then i can do that because i had to do this myself and i spent yeah. like two hours this morning creating my little mini stickers um oh boy <laughs> Shouldn't have taken that long. No, but whatever. I sent him like seven graphics and I'm like, here you go. Here's some JPEGs. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. I like that. So, okay. Um, so yeah, we're here sharing our sticker session. We're actually going to sticker. We're going to fill our planner out. I'm doing next week and I saved stuff. So it's like completely clean. This is next week's planner. Oh my. Okay. This was this week's planner. A little different. So I'm about to make this week and into next week. Now, if you'll do you, notice, do you monthly or just week, or just weekly? Um, I'm trying to do it weekly right now because, like, I do monthly on my phone and I pull everything on a weekly thing so that it, it helps me to remember what I'm doing this week. Yeah. If I do it too far in advance, I don't remember stuff. 
Got it. Um, yeah, I have issues with my memory lately. Yeah. Yeah. Hear you. And so, see these cute little stickers? That's just like a sticker of my Dana. These remind me these are days I write. You'll notice I'm not writing the day before Christmas Eve. And <laughs> I'm not writing Christmas Eve, and I'm not writing a couple days after Christmas either. But... And I just, I like the, the little sticker that reminds me, oh yeah, today is a writing day. And it's kind of nice too when I look at the planner and realize I don't have to write today. Um, it's not a day for work, it's a day for whatever. Those are Alpha Smarts. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's the, such a good idea. And so for like, when I'm doing, when I'm actively writing, I have these writer ones. And I use like for the week, when I'm planning my week, I have like the yeah. Word Camp Goal one. And these are from uh, Sierra. Let's Godfrey. put this close to she does those, and then I have a book deadline one, and then this one is the number, like the word oh, count that one. I wrote, and that helps me like stay on track because it's on there. I've right. missed the sticker. Look at that. And that's so, so cool. I, it would be a waste of the sticker if I did not write that day. Right? We don't want to waste you our stickers. You cannot waste a sticker. That's how I feel about my little Dana sticker. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, we can't. We and then I also them. have these ones that are am editing. <gasps> so that I can build that in as well. Oh, okay. Check this out. Because and again, this is something I struggle with, with my um, coordinating myself is actually distinguishing between what I'm writing and right. what I'm editing. So I it's a work day. really like that. Yeah. Okay. How do I get to Sierra Godfrey? Um, she's on Etsy. Okay. I'm going to write yeah. that down. So oh, don't worry. I'll send her some. It's, she's fantastic. Sierra Godfrey. Sierra. Yes. And then, so I buy my stickers. So I make, oh, Bailey goodness. makes me stickers, but um, I also buy my stickers online. Olivia, thank you for coming. It's really good to see you. I love that name. Yeah, it's a gorgeous name, right? I love that name. I think, um, I'm just trying to think, Alicia, I feel like I used your name in a book, and now I can't remember what book it was. Or maybe I put it on my list to use. Anyway, I love your name. I love that. And I think it's beautiful. Um, be a good princess name. Right? I have to write royalty next year. I have to. I get to write totally. royalty next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Princess names. I'll let you use Thanks it. Thanks for showing up. Yeah. <laughs> and so, <laughs> um, okay. So you said Bailey does your stickers. You said Bailey. Sierra does Sierra does stickers. She, and then, for writers. And then I also like will buy fun stuff online. Yeah. So um, that's what I like to have all kinds of stickers. So I'm still, I'm waiting today. I'm just to have. Um, my holiday stickers are supposed to arrive. I have some holiday stickers, Yay. but I ordered some other ones and they were supposed to be here before this because I wanted to put some on this page and this page. Uh, and so I should have brought, I could have brought some for you. I have some, but I just didn't have the ones I ordered, which were glittery. I like glitter. Um, Alicia says, good timing because I'm horrible with making my planner, been trying to get organized for years. And I so get you, right? Because for those of us who are kind of like liberty gibbets in our brain, I mean, I'm an organized person, but I get I sidetracked not. really easily. And so I love this. I was actually starting to tell Jenna when we had this over on the other page that um, the thing was, was that when I was keeping stuff on the phone, I was forgetting things too much. And also there'd be these last minute things like, uh, text your sister, remind mm -hmm. her about whatever, or ask so and so about whatever. And like these thoughts would come to me at three o'clock in the morning. Well, at three o'clock in the morning, I can write them in my planner, and I'm not going to get um, anyone upset with me if I text someone at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, not so much. So yes, um, no. It the so the um, comment is good incentive to write. Don't waste a sticker for real. If I put a sticker, it will happen. Right. I it's, love that. It's the same thing with um, gym. Like I yeah. have little gym stickers and I will, if I put them right. on, I will go, to go because otherwise I will waste a sticker. Yeah. That's I have these and little I walking can't. stickers because I love my walk. Yes. And so I don't even put them on every day because I don't want to waste a sticker because right. I didn't walk that day. But this way I know I'll absolutely get this when he walks in a week. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's just nice to know like, okay, this chunk of time is going to be needed. So I also love this place called Planner Bomb. Now, what not all that? of these are great. Do you see um, me writing all this stuff down? All of these are, are super cute. Oh, they, you can just have a sticker from them. Like, take one of the ones oh. off the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, girl, the planner is the bomb. Um, I love these because these are, I always get the snarky ones. She has all kinds of stuff, but I get the snarky ones. Like, this one is a no sign and it's no school because um, you can never have enough of those. This is great. You know, wine happens. <laughs> Uh, this is so. This is one of my favorites from Planner Bomb. It's a bomb, 
with an F on it, because sometimes you need an F bomb. Because your day can go, right? And that's like the one I would use. Exactly. Okay. Because you can't like I'm yeah. not gonna say it, but yeah. And I then I totally got the these are another favorite that I can't get enough of from her is um canceled. But they're clear. Oh so if you have an event and it gets canceled for whatever reason, right. like you leave some sticker, but you can put a canceled over it and be like, Okay, I need to, you know, right. finagle that again. Yeah, I like that. Also kind of lets you know those little red canceled stickers. Yeah. Let you know if there's a pattern, if you're making events with um, certain organizations. Because sometimes I actually, it'll take me a while to realize this place is canceling things more often yeah. than, than this one. And then, yeah. Yeah, so as I you kinda just like blur that. through your life. Right? Yeah. I just, life does feel blurry. <laughs> My life's blurry. <laughs> I have these stickers that say so busy, and I'm like, can I have that for every, every single day? day? Yeah, right. it's like, how do I differentiate? Right, because it's always so busy. I mean, I don't have kids at home, but I have adult children, and then I have grandchildren, and we're really involved, and I mm -hmm. love it. But life gets really busy, and mm -hmm. then just trying to do, like, my work. And right now, oh, my gosh, I'm trying to get re-releases, and I am not doing what you did, which is have a, a release every single month for I don't a recommend year. It. Yeah. No, I don't recommend no. It. So in January, I'm releasing all five of the Goddard Project books together. I think that's a better idea. Like, if I had it to do over, I yeah. would release them, like, as a block. So that yeah. people, like, because a lot of people, I know I, when I want to binge read, I will read four or five in a row. Right. Well, and, and I don't mind that the at all. What's the incentive not to have the follow-on book? Right. Right. So I'm going to go, but man, everything involved, I am not a self-published author as a primary part of my job for a reason. I like to write. Yeah. Um, the stuff that's involved in self-publishing, for me, can be really challenging. You know, yes. finding the people who do the right covers for you, approving those covers, getting everything just exactly right, getting mm -hmm. the back cover copyright, getting the formatting, the, oh, the formatting the is such a headache because yeah, I can't. Um, I don't have an iBook, right? I do everything on a Windows compatible <laughs> computer, and so this means I can't upload iBooks. Um, directly because you can only do it from a mac right or a mac product mm -hmm. okay so i have to use a distributor mm -hmm. which i use smashwords but they are so persnickety about the formatting it is ridiculous well, is persnickety about the formatting so that's probably why they yes. are right so if you ever like if you load, upload to ibooks first yeah you'll get all of your like nitpicky stuff out of the way because they are the most stringent on their formatting well so, so you that's do them first why smashwords and then does go it, yeah, yeah. Um, but I still, I just find it so like exhausting. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, I like writing and I like, yeah. um, I love my publishers and I'm really grateful for them for, um, in pub, um, Harlequin is stuck by me regardless of turning yeah. in books or not. <laughs> um, now I'm turning in books, which is great. I, I'm not even in the stable anymore and they're still good to me. So they are, right. <laughs> Harlequin, they're really, they're good people, especially yeah. Harlequin. Um, we're talking about the Harlequin Presents team yeah, um, from London. Mills and Boone yeah. out of London. Uh, I'm sure the other editors are just as great, but I don't have any experience with them, but I love the London office. I think they are amazing. Um, and I, I see the stuff that they post. Like I follow them on Twitter and the and on Instagram, and the stuff they post for authors is yeah, incredible. about writing. They do a yeah. really good job. And they do a really good job of promoting their authors, like mm -hmm. individually. And uh, it's just nice. It's really nice to know that they have, they really have your back. They have an investment in it. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. You know, because like for three years, I haven't had a book out because I haven't been able to write. And that was frustrating. But you know, they kept re-releasing my books in different ways. I know. That's been great. great. Yeah. 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 So, so they've kept, you know, so the readers have something coming, but you know, I, I think, I think they're great and they're great career wise. Like, yeah. because like I said, I'm not in the state anymore. Yeah. But they still, but they supportive. will still like be like, Oh, this was great. You know? Yeah. Oh, I remember that idea, that kind of thing. And it's nice it just to nice. have that validation that yeah. like, okay. You know? So yeah, they're really, it's, it's, I love it. Yeah. Hi Yvonne. Thanks for watching. Good to see you. And I'm just going to remind everyone again that those of you who are on, if you comment, you're eligible to win a free book. We have three different um, titles over here, um, but a, for a total of five books, which I'll be giving away to all people who comment on this. And then I'm going to say the next 24 hours. Yeah. I'll give you guys 24 hours. Then we're going to do the drawing. Um, and they're but, all signed. They're all signed or will be signed to you once 
we know who the winner is and we've confirmed your address. I'm also giving away um, the Nutcracker stickers because I'm sharing that obsession too. And I did a little sheet of stickers of book covers. And then Jenna, I had to do every quarter I do uh, with my books that are coming out so you can put them in with the release date. So those are in my newsletter, a link to um, either print those yourselves or have them mail them to you. And that's on jennabaileybrook.com. Yes. So don't forget to sign up for those freebie stickers. And I just need your address and I'll ship you the stickers. So I don't need a self-addressed envelope or anything like that. How did they get you their address again? Um, oh, to get me your address, go ahead and go to my website, lucymonroe.com. Go to the contact form. Those contact forms come directly to my email. And I will and just give me your address and say that you watch this video and then I'll send you your stickers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a ton of giveaways going on today. Yeah, I look like super so booked. Why don't you say what's going on? All right. So if you go to my Facebook page, Jenna Bailey Burke, um, you'll see all of them. So I did a takeover on the Entangled uh, publisher page mm -hmm. today. And so there's four giveaways over there. And then I did a, another um, Facebook party. And there's two giveaways on there. I need to go post another one. Grace came home in the middle of my time. So I was like, oh, I'll go give them another one. Anyway, there's tons of stuff. So you can win tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. So just stop by. It's real easy to just click over. Um, I wanted to make an exciting announcement. I'm like really funky. So listen to this up. I don't even know what this is. No, you don't. <laughs> I know. So I've been talking to Isabel. Isabel's my marketing coordinator. She also is my daughter and she's so smart. And, but we've been talking because I wanted to start a Facebook group for my readers. Yes. Um, one where the readers can kind of interact with me in a different way. And also where we can go, like chat about our favorite hobbies and with reading, right? And, yeah. and share our love of other, of other books. So I was going to just start kind of a book group. And she's like, let's call it Lucy's Book Nook. And so Lucy's Book Nook is going to go live. What is it? This Friday, Isabel? Mm -hmm. It's going to go live this Friday. And to celebrate the Book Nook, I'm going to be giving away probably, I think it's going to be now because we waited to start two books a day, I think, at least to start. Um, and I'm just going to... And they're, some are by me, some mm -hmm. are by other authors, but half of them are by me and half are by other authors because I like to share my love of other right. authors with readers. So, um, and I just hope you guys, hi, Tracy, thanks for coming. Hi, Sabrina. Sabrina is my daughter and I'm really <laughs> thrilled to have you guys here. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, so I... Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm yeah. really like a book nook. Doesn't that sound like fun? I like the book nook. I like yeah, the book <laughs> and where, nook. where are they going to be able to join it? Oh, to join the book nook, just go to my Lucy Monroe Facebook page and there will be a link to the group that is, um, that will be off of that page. Yeah. So I, I am super, super excited about it. It'll be it. in the about tab for the page. Is it? It's Lucy in the about Monroe. tab. See, Isabel's giving us lots of good advice here. It's in the about <laughs> tab on the will page. Be. Will it be will be. Friday. It's not there yet. It'll be there Friday. But I just want to let y'all know. And I'm going to hint at something here for readers who email me all the time. And you guys know who you are. I am going to be working on a certain book. I actually started yesterday. And if you guys can guess what it is, I will share that news. But if you can't, that's okay. I'll just share it next week or something. It'll be fun. <laughs> If you guess, then I will tell everyone. <laughs> right. If you don't guess, I will then confirm no. it. I will confirm it. <laughs> Can you it. give a little hint? Um, my little hint is, oh, um, these are the books I get requested the most often. And uh, I'll be posting a picture later of some research I've been doing, you know, with my husband in a kilt. Oh Wait, my gosh. you're posting a picture of you and your husband doing research no, with him in the kilt? No. I will Stop. post a picture of him in the kilt. Sorry, guys. Stop. That's my research. He's great inspiration. <laughs> yeah, Heroes in a Kilt. Is it the utility kilt? His, he actually has, we got him one in Scotland when we were over oh, there. Okay. So we have both. He has a few utility kilts. And I say a few because I love him. You'll I know you do. Me. That yeah. first time we bought one, yeah. Jenna was with us at the... I know you the, do. You were all about it. Yeah. It was adorable. I <laughs> like my husband in a kilt. And uh, yeah, and then when we were in Scotland, we got him. Oh, um, good. Like a child. Child. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It was really fun. Yeah. So hopefully that's enough of a hint. And I bet even if the people who are, who are watching now don't get it, uh, someone is going to watch this and going to know what I'm exactly. talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. So back to planners. Yeah. We go off. Sorry, that is kind of why we need planners. So um, I have three. 
I have a mini that lives in my purse. Oh, right. Yeah. And this, because we did this on the other right. side. We did. Anyway, yeah, you so it lives in my purse and it has mo mostly kid events, but it's also events that I have. Um, so I have the monthly view that I uh, sync with my other planners. We'll see those in a sec. Um, once a month. And then this is like a typical weekly view that I'll have where I need to be. So I don't try and double book, which I did today anyway. Because, you know. Because we do that. It happens. Because that's life. And then I keep this one in um, a cover because it goes in my purse constantly. That's super smart. Yeah. And then I have the day-to-day -day one that lives on my desk, which is why it's not in a cover. Because I know this cover is not cute. But I don't see it. I like it. that cover. I don't, I don't see it pretty much ever. Because it's always open. So, like, that. I see how busy. I love this. It is, is that busy. not awesome? That is so awesome. It is busy, but I love it. Yeah. Um, again, busy. It's so great. I, I like it calms me to do the yeah. stickering. Right. And then this is this. Oh, look at you've got the best Annika stickers yeah. too. Look at it. These are so yeah, cool. Yeah, I had to hunt down all Annika stickers. Yeah, where did you find them? Because I um, haven't seen any. So a lot of these are uh, a uh, what's the other one? Not the coiled one. Renaissance or something? I don't know. I'm not very recollections. good at Recollections. Oh, that's so right. So Recollections right. had a Hanukkah one. So that's very where a lot cool. of them are. And then uh, other ones are just blue sure, and gold stuff goes. from my right. regular packs. So, yeah. So that's that. Um, I, have, I, do, I do tend to plan ahead, um, mostly mm -hmm. because it calms me. And so well, when right. I'm anxious, I like to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, for next week, yours is, is blank, but mine is yeah. half done. I like because it. Because this is yeah. still Hanukkah. <laughs> and right. then this is starting Christmas. Oh, how cute is that? Yeah, I had to use my Christmas stickers. I couldn't, I couldn't so hold them. That's so awesome. Yeah. And then I also have, for next year, I'm starting this, a big one um, that I'm going to leave by the phone in our kitchen um, yeah. that'll have where everybody's supposed to be when. And right. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to let my family write in this one. They know better than to touch this. Right. But this one, it, and it has um, things in it like a grocery list for every week and uh, where who's going to be where. And so this one is not as busy because it's going to have no, way, way more writing. Way more writing in it. Got it. Got it. I kind of keep everything in my one. And this is, I love this cover actually. Can you see it? This is totally me. Yes. I saw that when you opened it up. I'm like, that's so cute. It is totally me. And um, so. This is last this week that we're on right now. So that's kind of like, you know, just this week. And I, I don't know, I do, I'm not Jenna. Like I said, I do not have kids at home. So I don't have as many little um, events. I'm trying to, but this is next week. So we're going to see how busy we get that. We're going to see how many stickers we get in that. And I don't, I just, I love being able to, oh, I just got these. It's a grocery list. These are so cool. And those are pre-punched. Yeah, yeah. So I got a punch. I got a punch because yeah. like, you have, like for the sticker book that never comes with enough pages no, uh -uh. to put the thing on. Um, but see, it has the grocery list on one side, and then and then your menus on the other side. I saw those today. I didn't think those were out yet. I got them off of Amazon. Nice. And so they just delivered today, so it must have been like today was shipping. Maybe because I saw I watched another Facebook live from the people who do um, the Happy Plan. Yeah, I, I just love plan. that idea that it's the meal plans on one side and the grocery list right. is on the other. I'm like, that is brilliant. It's it's just fun. And I I do our meal plans. I used to do them um, once a month. And I that's kind of what I've always done. But now that I'm doing this planner, I'm doing my planning once a week on Sundays for the next week. Yeah, we do usually. Our on Sunday. Um, this week I'm doing it today for next week because this Sunday we have our family birthday party. Uh, not birthday party, family Christmas party. And um, that's going to be busy. And so... Um, <laughs> We're giggling because my daughter just reminded me to smile. <laughs> We're getting a little too serious about our stickers. <laughs> we are. We're like, okay, sorry. This is like, um, but yeah. So I think when you're planning, one of the key elements is have something, whether it's your a grocery list or like I keep half sheets in um, my planner that you can take notes on, so you're not filling up your notes column, so that you can write everything down you need to remember because. 
if you're anything like me, you forget. Yeah. You, you forget things. And so when you're planning, I think it's really important to have that element as part of your planner to have some place to write things down, whether it's at the end of the book. So or... I don't use the half sheets as much. I use she post it. They're so cool. I um, love those ones. Yeah. The, yeah. These ones, they, they're punched. They can just stay in. Mm -hmm. But I use the post-its because if I need to write it down, I'll write it down. If not, I can just toss it. Yeah. Um, where if they're on the half sheet, then I have to like do it. <laughs> ah, I get that. It's I get it. down. I it's like that. Bit. So yeah. Um, and I, I just think whatever you do, make sure it works for you. So like, if you want to put that you do the dishes three times a day, every day, and that helps you to feel like you're in control of your day, then do it. Now for me, because the dishes happen three times a day, every day, I don't want to put the little dishes things on my no. sink. Um, but it's just, it's, everyone's different. And like, cause I have my obsession with my nutcrackers. I actually have for me, like three different kinds of nutcracker stickers. Um, that I can decorate Great. for Christmas with and that makes me happy. Um, but yeah, just, I think planning is a really important part of life because it helps us to feel like one, it gives us, um, a view of what we're doing. And I'm going to say like, if you're overbooked all the time, if you look down at your planner and it stresses you out, cut things from your life. This is something that I'm learning. I'm 50 years old and I am learning that you can't do everything for every person all the time. And that actually the older you get and the more people you have in your life, the more you have to determine what has to be done this week, which is one of the reasons also that I'm focusing on doing my planner on a weekly basis. I used to do um, a year long writing plan, which I still do. Yeah, I do that. That tells me mm -hmm. what to, to write for the year. But I now have a little sticker at every three month mark to revisit my writing plan and readjust it because I'm no longer setting myself up for um, a sense of failure or stress if I can't get to something or if a family, because I, I feel like in our family, we have uh, a lot of people in our family, but I, just with my kids, we've had a lot of crises in the last five, six years. Um, a lot of trips to the hospital, a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And- A lot of babies. Right, a lot of babies, which right there is just You're like welcome. lots of vegetables. So <laughs> that's wonderful, but yeah, it's stuff. And so um, I think it's important that you give yourself uh, an opportunity to kind of pull back and say, this isn't working or I'm not going to get this done. Mm -hmm. I want to get this done um, because I am a perfectionist. I'm really working on that. My new, my new mantra is I'm not interested in being perfect. I'm interested in being happy, but it's really hard to internalize that. Yeah. It, that's um, a hard habit to break. Right? Yeah. Remember to make it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. You guys, please. Yeah. Yeah. We're supposed to ask you questions and we totally forgot, which is something that often happens when we start talking. Right. Like, sorry. Because sometimes Hubcap just sits there and we're like, yeah. oh yeah, you're here. Right. Because right. So you, you, I you, would love to hear if anybody has, especially the planners in the audience, I would love if they have a favorite place to get stickers. Like oh, I know right. I, yeah, I love too. to use the Victoria Thatcher principles. Um, and I have, there's a couple others that I just, I can't like sticker bomb. I, I talked about yeah. planner bomb. Um, but I just, I love to get stickers and I love, um, when they're on sale. So if anybody has any hot tips on where to get that stuff, that would be awesome. And also I want to, um, just throw out there. I was thinking about planners because I'd love to hear what kind of planner you use. Like, do you, you can actually right now, I, I'm just going to start at the very bottom. I just bought my, um, I, every year I usually buy a planner at the Dollar Tree. It's just a very simple monthly planner. I do that too. Right? Yeah. Right? But they have them. Ross has incredible, I mean, nice planners um, for $10 or less. Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, Happy Planet, uh, you can get these at uh, Michael's or Joanne Fabrics. Um, I think those are the two places I've seen. Yeah. Haven't seen them anywhere else. Well, in Oregon, we don't have Hobby Lobby, but oh, a right. lot of people swear by Hobby Lobby. Okay. So, so there you go. Olivia um, says that we just bought a planner for the desk and one for our 11 year old daughter for her band concert. Oh, how yeah. yeah, cool. So no, that's it's super smart. Yeah. yeah. Gracie has one. My nine year old daughter has one as well. I got her the, the I wasn't sure if she'd stick with it. So I got yes. her the, the planner pack from Walmart, which right. has everything you need. And sure. it's like, I don't know, $15. Um, but she loves it. Yeah. Every Sunday we get together and she writes down like her activities yeah. and like if she has a speech to give at school, it's fantastic. 
So she's gonna be getting in. Uh, she's gonna be getting happy for the holidays. I love it. That's so great. Yeah. Sabrina says I like to get stickers from my mom. She's the best. Okay, so that's my daughter. <laughs> and um, yeah. Why advice? don't you share how many stickers you've bought this week, mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, this maybe next time we'll like I don't know get rid of my dogs for a minute, and we should do it at my house cause because she I bet so you I have more. Like, no, I am sure you have more stickers, but see, they're just like teasing me because like okay, so the mom sticker pack. Yes. Um, and I the mom and the mom mini. I right, and I don't need like ninety percent of the stickers in there, but I no, wanted that's some. True. Yeah. So I bought each pa a pack for each of my daughters, and then I stole the stickers I wanted. Yeah, because that's the kind of mom I am. Right. Hey. Yeah. And, and for the grandkids, and yes, okay, went to Dollar for Tree for a one dollar planner. Uh huh. And I bought a one dollar planner, and I ended up spending sixty six dollars on stickers and planners for the grandkids at the dollar store. At the dollar store. Oh my gosh! That's okay. amazing. Yes, I did. How, how, how many nice did you have? Yeah, a lot. It was hysterical. But the grandkids were super happy with their oh, stickers, my. Jenna. They were very <laughs> happy with their stickers. And um, my we, grandson was working on his planner this morning, and I got a picture. So see? I was like, they really like I, it. I like it. And I think, it, like like I was saying earlier, it calms me, it relaxes yes. me. Like, I'm like, okay, I know what right. I have to do instead of things like flying around in the ether. And I, I think that that helps kids, too. I, I think too. that, I mean, just knowing like, okay, well, I'm going to do this over here. Kind of, yeah. I just think it's nice. Doesn't it like help to be able to say, I'm not doing that today, but I am putting it right. on the planner for next week. Right. And I don't have to worry about it until then. It's like, what, 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 is, what is the thing on your planner or in your life that you plan that maybe is the most stressful for you? And I'd love if you comment and answer that question to anyone who wants to, because I, I think we all have different like triggers, the things mm -hmm. that, so what, what stresses you out the most? Promotion, promotion, marketing, oh and promotion gosh, for books. Right? I, it's, I'm just not. It's not in my wheelhouse, so it's not natural for me. Right, right. Um, and so it takes me forever to do. Yeah. And so I'll put it on a to-do list in here, and then just check it off one by one as I go through. Yes. It. But it's just, it's, it's difficult for it's me. Exactly. Like I can talk mm -hmm. to somebody about anything, but like, do right. I remember to say, oh, by the way, I write books? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I have people ask me all the time, do you have any books with you? I now carry around a box in the back of my car because I've been asked so often. Um, and I love to give away free books when I just meet people randomly. Uh, I know that makes me a little odd. People are going to follow you around now. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I follow you around. I'll give you no, but, but did um, you drive yourself? <laughs> uh, right. Because right, they're in my car and my husband's. And um, yeah, no, I think the stuff that, that uh, stresses me out the most is, it's the self-publishing, all of the little tiny things I have to do to get a book out mm -hmm. um, that was originally released by another publisher or whatever, because uh, I know I didn't appreciate how much my publishers did for me until I did my very first three issues right. on my own. And then I, I know there's a lot of people that thrive on it. They love self-publishing, um, but I am very happy to keep the majority of my new release. I think with a, the people who thrive with it, they're good at that piece. They are, they're good at that piece, right? Yeah. It's, it, it is natural they to them. Do we have one, Sabrina? Oh, the bills, bills and the due dates, yeah. right? Because you have to put that in there and then you have to be like, do I have the money to come? Right? No, that's the, the real thing. So one of the reasons right. why I got the big one is to um, do budgeting in it. Yes. Because we, Jeff handled that and so I'm usually not involved. Yeah. So I'm going to be more involved next year just so I'm aware. Right. Uh, but, yeah, like going, okay, well, these bills come in here, and uh, yeah. We made this decision a few months ago um, for my husband to change jobs, and uh, I'm really excited about it. I think he's really happy, and I'm sure that he will get a job soon, but right now, we're having to make everything work um, on the Lucy Monroe business, and I haven't been, I mean, I've been writing this year, but before that, I yeah. hadn't been, so things are like, whoa, so I have to like... When do I get paid? Because this is yes. important. I need to remember. Because before it didn't matter when the checks came in. We always had kind of a slush yes, fund. But things exactly. are a lot more um, unslushy. And, and yeah, so I totally things get that. Up. Right? They buy <laughs> stuff. The budget has iced up. I'm going to remind people again that if you comment, um, you're eligible for um, to be in the drawing for one of five books. This is one of them. Jenna's incredible book is another one. 
And um, just all you have to do is comment the next 24 hours from this video posting and you will be eligible for that drawing when we make it and we will ship out to five lucky winners. What is my favorite sticker? Can we say sticker types? Because I don't think I can choose a favorite sticker. How about you? You go first because that gives me time to think. I don't, so I find my most useful sticker are the to-dos mm -hmm. because I, I like to like, right. to like look and then I can also look back and be like, wow, I've been putting that on my to-do list for three weeks. Oh, oh, hey, right, <laughs> better right. just check that it's off. It's time to get that done, yeah. <laughs> so that, I, I think that's my most useful, but I like the fun stickers. I like the fun quotes oh, and the right. dirty quotes. Yes. I, that's, that's my thing. Like, I've loved to play with stickers since I was like, I don't know, six years old. And being able to bring those back into my life has been so fun. Right. You I know, I think that's why that. it's so calming for me. It's like, I because just love it. it. brings back yeah. the memory. Yeah. Yeah, I think for me, um, it's definitely the quote stickers because mm -hmm. like just last week I put a quote in, trust the timing in your life. I'm really um, coming to terms with the fact that I, my brain was completely offline for three years and um, was it writing, didn't have any books. And all of a sudden I'm trying to rebuild a career where um, my single title publisher, which completely understandably, but canceled my contract because I didn't turn my book in. And, um, and I just, it's so half my career just kind of went and I, it, it could be really easy to get like, I don't know, mad or something. And I don't want to, I want to remember that I learned a lot about myself even while I was going through this and that I, I feel really blessed to have grown. Um, but so yeah, I love the quote stickers because they help me. And like, I actually have inserted some of them into pages throughout the year to surprise myself oh, with this reminder I of like, like I'm at the right place at the right time in my life. I just think it's, it's fun to like, so they come in sticker books and I like to yeah. read through them. And so you're like getting oh, all of these right? affirmations right? and then finding yeah. the one that resonates with your week. Yeah. I love that. And when I was giving the girls stickers, I actually went through and I was really kind of very careful about the ones I gave each of my daughters and um, and guys, oh, because these are my favorite. So could you share your favorite quote? It doesn't have to be a sticker quote. It could be any kind of quote. And if I like it well enough, I'm going to make a sticker out of it. So I'm just, just fair warning. That. And I'm like, fair I'll just morning. tell Bailey and I'll put yeah, it on my quarterly. Nice. <laughs> but we'd love to hear your favorite quotes. Yeah. So. I, I love quotes though, because I'll even like share those on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. So right. I just, I don't know. I yeah. love, but I love words. I do too. I, do. I love words. I love to encourage people and I think that that's part of why I write what I write because what we write and how we write it um, can make a difference in the world. I mean, I just, I, it's like your books that have the humor in them and the emotion, a person can pick that book up and they can be in the dumps and stressed over life yeah. and you can actually make a difference. I mean, that difference. Yeah, you can between, change their mood, totally yeah. change their vibration. And, and, and therefore change everything that's going on in their home because they're in a better place. So they're going to be more patient, kinder with their spouse or their children or just their cat, yeah. you know, like seriously, it's, I just, I think we do have, words have power. So has anyone shared any quotes? Okay, well, feel free to post them later if you don't post them now, um, because I love quotes and I'm just going to throw out there, I love quotes so much that um, if we get a minimum of 10 quotes posted, then we'll pick a favorite quote and that person will receive a prize too. It'll either be a free, or probably a free book. What do you think, Isabel? Does that sound good? Maybe some mm -hmm. chocolate, something like that. Ooh, There's something fun. Chocolate. Okay, because you know what? I love quotes that much. So um, if you're watching this later, feel free to post your quotes, okay? Yeah. Okay, all right. So do you want to talk about how we do our planners? Yeah, why don't you tell okay. me like how you do so your So this week? is my this week, which my planners are kind of busy, but I love stickers. I love it. I like love I said. It. Yeah, it's um, so vibrant and fun. And so I try to have a place where I can do a checklist almost every day. Mm -hmm. be, um, I don't always fill them out. I, I can fill them out as the week goes. But I, I like to be able to like go, okay, here's my goal. Here's where I'm focused. What is for today? Yeah, and then I also I like that. to write when I something comes up when mm -hmm. you have to fight a fire when that happens so that I don't like look back and be like, Oh, I have these 10 things to do and I didn't get any That's of them so done. Smart, right? right. But it's like, Oh, well, copy edits came in and can you please do them right now? Right. Which happens. Yeah, and sure. You know, so you just write down, okay, no, I didn't do what I said I was going to do today, but I, I did, did copy it right. in a single day and that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So it's that kind of thing. Um, I, I, I really that. like that. And then I also, like to put like doctor's appointments so that I, I can kind of 
look yes. over and go like, okay, adjust, you know, give yourself goals that, that focus on the time you have available. Right. As opposed so. to just like every day putting the same right. number of things in it's, I used to do that. And then yeah. I would drive myself crazy by the end of the week. I had a to-do list that was still like half undone. Right. And it's, and, and it's not, it's not that you didn't hustle. No. It's, it's that you didn't. And by the time the Saturday comes around or Sunday comes around and I'm looking at the, I don't remember what happened on Monday. No, right. That's so super smart. at least, I mean, I have memory issues. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why, like, you know, my the planner thing. has been so instrumental this year. So I love it. Well, what I do is I start with my writing. So I choose which days of the week I'm going to write. And right now um, I'm trying to write every day of the week, except like um, for me this week, writing means book preparation. Mm -hmm. So actually I'd like a sticker that it, that indicated book preparation as opposed to just writing. And that means I'm doing research for the next book I'm writing. And so every day That's I an, do. So the Sierra Godfrey thing, one is Anne researching. I love that. I so need to get she's that. She's a yeah. writer. Yeah. So um, I need to and get that. There's a, there's a group of planning writers that yeah. I belong to, and that's where I got turned on to her stuff. That's so And fun. she'll also make stuff for you. This, that is, it, it, see, and that's just, you know, so I do. I, I start with my writing because I found that when I didn't start with my writing, I didn't do it. So everything else has to fit around writing. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't have commitments mm -hmm. that are going to happen regardless. And so... I just, when I look at the day and I realize like today that we had this event mm -hmm. at four o'clock, if I didn't do my writing early in the day, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So I had to set aside, nothing else could happen on my to-do list. I couldn't do a to-do list for this morning because it had to be writing. That doesn't mean I didn't, um, cause guys, yeah, remember I got up and I spent two hours making these fun little stickers. Um, yeah, so that was kind of funny. Uh, but it's just that I did also get my research in today that I needed to. So. It, by having it there and looking at it and knowing, okay, it I helps. need to get it. Yeah. And it, I, it helps me like chunk up my time and yeah. know like, okay, what can I do when the kids are home? What right. can I not? Like I, so I've been dictating yeah. um, with writing and I cannot dictate when the kids are in the house. No, how do you do that? It doesn't right? matter. Like I could be writing a scene about horseback riding and no, I right. can't do it when they're in no. the house. I, my, my brain is in mom and mm -hmm. it's not in author. So Right. Um, I do have to make sure I get that in. And sometimes that, you know, having to adjust other things because of it. But it's nice to And I think it. the longer we do it, the easier it gets to make the adjustment. Yes. But you have to learn to tell yourself that this is you, this is what you do, and that you're allowed to take the time to do it. Whether it's writing or right. if you're a cross stitcher or whatever we do. I'm not saying writing is a hobby. That's but we do have hobbies and they're mm -hmm. important to us. We do have pets that are important. We right. have people. And I just think it's so important that we don't get lost and caught up all the time in what has to happen and forget about the stuff that's that we want to happen. Right. Because what is life if there isn't a quality of life? And I, I did. I I had many, many years where I would like just get myself so busy and so focused on deadlines that between my mom's illness, my writing deadlines, and the stuff, you know, going on in those regards, um, I really just didn't have time to just go out and have coffee with a friend. Mm -hmm. Or I literally had a time in my life where I chose not to make any more friends because I didn't have space. I knew I didn't have space. And I, I never want to be in that place again. I, I want to be able to be. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes life dictates right. to you. I have a choice about my mom being sick. You know, but I, I wouldn't have given up a day of her life with her. Right. But I think um, planning I, for me is kind of a philosophical thing as well as a physical thing. It makes me stop and think about why I do the things I do and what am I doing? What am I putting on my planner? And um, I don't know. I, I, why do you plan? Why do you plan? Yeah. You know, you know like, that would be what, great if people could yeah, share, why, they they share why do you plan? Yeah. Like what, what do you get out of using a planner? And besides really cool and awesome stickers, I mean, you can also say really stickers. cool and awesome stickers because that's a legit reason to plan. Yeah. Um, I've also met some really fun people <laughs> through planning, which right? is crazy. I, but like, if like you're, so much fun. you know, at Joanne's and you're searching for a certain kind of sticker book and somebody's like, oh, sister, I, I feel you. You have right. really like sisters. <laughs> right? I mean, I just think that's so neat. I think. Um, you also are making me feel way better about my obsession because oh, good. see this like, is what I do for you. This is what you do for me because Isabel Jenna has way more stickers than me. Oh, so I believe it. I buy more. Yeah. No, hey, right? I give you permission. There's actually going to be a new release on December 28th. 
Yeah. Well, that's when they're coming out with the rolls of stickers. Oh, the rolls, right? So, oh, the, like the talk about that. So I, okay. I'm obsessed with Tabby Planners, and um, mm -hmm. me and my big ideas is the I love company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I watched their uh, new release of uh, web like Facebook Live that they did. Same thing as this. And they were showing all of their new stuff. They're coming out with some new sticker books. One of them is Tiny, which is all the decorative stuff. Um, and one of them is Budget, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but they're also coming out with this, uh, with rolls of them. So this of the stickers you use the most, like your to-do list, like your game day is in yeah. the mom box. Um, the menu one has like your what's for dinner. Yeah. You get like 82 of them or something. Which is Which so is nice. so smart, right? Yeah. Because it's so frustrating when you buy a, a kit and you get like four of something you need yeah. a lot of. Exactly. For me, birthdays. I had to get four kits to get enough birthdays for just my family. I didn't put my sisters or my nieces and nephews you in totally my family. totally would. I hadn't even thought of that. Right. Right. Yeah. No, it's totally. Um, yeah. I had to go and order more of the no school ones for uh, sure, from the mom. Sure, because you have family. so many kids. Right. right. And they're never in school. This is Oregon. So, <laughs> I mean, I didn't even have enough. <laughs> To do no school November in one kind is ridiculous. So, sorry, our kids are never in school. Oh my god! So it, you know it's it's gonna be great. Yeah. But just to be able to like plan it out. I and love advance, that. That I, I love think that. It's super super so cool. They, but where do you, where do you keep your stuff? Because like my little um, I am so soul. jelly of your bag. I I love that. But uh, Gracie and I have a shelf in mm -hmm. my office closet that we just have everything on. Oh, that's smart. Um, and then we have photo boxes mm -hmm. that we stash everything in so it doesn't look quite as over the top <laughs> as it is. And then I also I like, like it. I have storage solutions. So yeah. like this is full of stickers that have like fallen out of the book. How smart is that? This they is from the dollar it. store. Right, and it's the perfect there. size. I have no idea. That's. The dollar stores. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, and then, so like for my pens, at when I'm at home, I have them on mm -hmm. my desk. But like when I go and do planning, with people, I there. put them in this. So super cute. Yeah, and you got they got to be semi portable. I usually right. don't move my plastic. I did it only for you. Um, <laughs> I feel lucky. It lives there. Yeah, you know, no, I get it. I and get I it. just I don't. Nothing can happen to it. It's like the idea of like losing your phone. It's the same no, kind of thing. Right? You can't. It's like no, <laughs> no, no. You can't lose this. I yeah, no. I love this. I just I think it's so fun, and I'm so looking forward to this year coming up because I have um, five books that I'm trying to get done this year, in addition to all the re-releases. Five new ones. Yeah, and the yeah. reissues, and I need to plan, or this year is not going to happen the way it's supposed to. So. Um, yeah, and I um, don't want to keep forgetting things I tell my kids I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be good to, like, remember what yeah. I say. Like, today, okay, we talk about double booking. Um, my daughter was supposed to come over and do my hair at 4.30, only I forgot that because we had this thing at 4, and I'm like, um. um. <laughs> so, she's going to be for dinner later. Oh, there you go. And then tomorrow morning, she's going to come do my hair because she's wonderful like that. Yeah. She's the queen of color. She is the queen. She, she did. She colored it, but she she styles my hair for well, me yes. a couple times a week because yes. um, I'm not the greatest at straightening my hair. And and she's that good thing. at it. She's <laughs> really good at it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, wow. we're actually kind of running around or running at 45 minutes, and I feel like we don't want to make this so long. No, no one else has to watch it. So, um, I think it's time for us to just sort of do our stickering yeah. and maybe say thank you all for coming and anyone who shows up later. And please remember that just by commenting, you're eligible for free books. And if you send your address to me via lucymonroe.com, my contact form, I will send you free stickers. Yeah, wow. that's right. Okay, so thank you. Yes, thank you and for then, having me. This is fun. We knew this was going to happen, though. Right? I know. We're kind of chatterboxes, guys. Did we say Jenna's link, too? Oh, Jenna. Oh, sorry. Um, my, all my information is on either my Facebook page or my website, jennabaileyburke.com. It's Bailey with a Y. I know it throws people off. I need to go by the I one and just forward it. But. It's the pinned comment, too. They can just click it and go straight to your website. Oh, there you go. Okay. Perfect. Terrific. Thanks, Isabel. And terrific. So yeah. thanks for coming. Happy holidays. Happy planning. <laughs>